For those stations not taking a pledge break, a look at one of the nation's premier black drama troops. The Penumbra Theater Company in St. Paul, Minnesota, was founded by Lou Bellamy in 1976. He takes us behind the scenes of the current production, I Wish You Love, on the life and times of Nat King Cole. This report comes from Twin Cities Public Television. You got you got props, you got your your uh, yeah. coat and everything? Yeah, you got the Okay, all right, all right. We're in, I think, the middle of the third week of rehearsal. So people are just getting off book. Hopefully not off lines. <laughs> what does that mean, you married? Ladies love it. Oh, you don't think I know how it works with the ladies and money? They're starting to create character and put together all the pieces. You could send them anything. They just happy something is set, that's all. You gonna give them something that's cut and dying. That don't make no sense. Man, you could send a woman a box of uh, uh, pencils and she'd be happy. Cause she sent her something. <laughs> the name Penumbra began uh, when we began the company in 1976. I knew that I wanted our program to be professional. We were a program of the Halle Q. Brown Community Center. You got to remember at this time we weren't able to get State Arts Board funding because they said we were doing social service, not art. See, then you carry that right off into flowers. Right. Look, they are magical. You know what? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Penumbra is a Latin term that means partial shadow. It's that place that an artist has to go to create that world that is neither light nor dark. It also sort of symbolized the marginalization of the culture and all that sort of stuff. These are all afterthoughts. It was fun to say. Penumbra, you know, it's a fun word to say, yeah. Hey, there's a card. what it say? It's, it's from the NAACP. And they say, Mr. Cole, thank you for your positive image of Negro America, the National Association for the Advancement of Color Peoples. <laughs> the, the project that we're working on right now is a play called I Wish You Love. It's written by Dominic Taylor. Bill. Call down to Alabama. Better yet, have one of the NBC execs call down there. Tell them that uh, my nephew is missing. What Dominic has put together here is not so much about Nat Cole, although there are 22 songs in the performance. Five, four, three, two. It, it happens during his television show, and you get him doing his show, actually, there'll be a television camera in the back of the house, and they'll shoot him doing the show. Not King Cole show. In the evening, may but I. But when the show goes down, when they break for a commercial, you'll also see commercials, and then you'll see the actors and producers interacting about life about what's going on in the world, because it's, there are news clips in there as well. While he was the governor of South Carolina during the Second World War, he told Harry Truman, and I quote, I want to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, that there's not enough troops in the army to force the Southern people to break down segregation. This is 1957, so the civil rights movement is hot and, and people are being challenged in all sorts of ways. America is being asked to live up to its promise, and in many cases it's beating people down for, and killing them, threatening them, lynching them to do it. So all of these things, this suave, black, male crooner is doing his stuff, while at the same time you break and go to a newscast and little children are being pushed around as they're trying to go to school in first grade. I mean, the, the, the comparison is, is, well, it's striking. I think he didn't like the way I said office. Them cops think we should still be in a field somewhere. Knock the hat off my head. And it was on, I guess. 
there's a real social justice, social consciousness part of the art we do. But it is always firmly ensconced in the African-American uh, experience. It's ensemble oriented and it is of the highest quality we can muster. The way we produce this work and, and cultural influence on the work is very subtle. My mama been telling me as far back as I can remember, try. If you try, you'd be surprised what you get. Cultures manifest themselves often in shadows and we'll do something that is uh, particularly or expressed in a particular Afrocentric sort of way and all the black people in the audience will laugh or they'll get the joke or they'll cry and then others who aren't of that experience well you'll see them sort of looking around going like well I've got to lean into this a little more. I need to thank you all of our fans for watching us as we've moved around the calendar. This experience that I present when I direct, and I only direct things out of this genre, um, it's so specific, but out of that specificity, I guarantee you, you will find yourself. It is impossible not to, and that's the beauty of being human, is that we can reach across cultures, we can reach across languages, all sorts of barriers. I've got you looking up here intellectually, processing something, and then you sneak up and go, ah, gotcha, that's you being human. That's, that's what we live for, pray for, that, that human experience.